Hi, I'm Russ Lowenthal with the database security team here at Oracle. And I want to talk to you a little bit about a new feature we've added to Oracle Database 23C called Schema Privileges. The idea behind Schema Privileges is really a solution to the question of how do you grant access to all of an application's tables, views, objects? Now, before 23C, what you had to do was either grant select on any table to a user, which is a bad idea, or you could grant select on table one to the user, and then table two to the user, and table three to the user, and so on, until you had all of the objects in the schema covered. And then later on, if you added new tables or views or PL SQL packages to the schema, you had to remember to go in and grant privileges on those objects to the user you wanted to be able to use them. Well, with 23C, we've simplified that. You can now grant privileges on the entire schema to a user with a single command. Let's take a look at how this works in practice. We begin with me connected as the application user, and initially I have no privileges on the application schema. So when I try and select from the people table, I can't even tell it's there. If I try and select from the city table, I can't even tell it's there. So I don't have any privileges. I need to have privileges to the schema in order to do my job. We'll connect in as the schema owner. Could also do this as a DBA if we wanted to. And as the schema owner, we are going to grant select any table on our schema, app schema, to the application user. This now gives the application user the ability to select from any table or view within the schema. We'll test this. We connect in as the application user. And we rerun those same commands. We take a look at the people table. And now we can see data. We take a look at the city table, and now we can see data. But here's where it gets to be interesting. Let's go back to the application schema, and we're going to add in a new table. We'll call this new table country. So we'll create a table called country. We'll add a couple of rows to the table. We'll put Toronto and Canada. Might as well put Paris and France. And now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and log back in as the application user. And we'll check to see, can we see the country table? And of course we can, because we have select any table on the schema app schema. That is what schema privileges are all about. Now I chose to do this as the schema owner. You can always grant privileges to your own schema, but if you want to grant privileges to someone else's schema, you either need to have the grant any schema privilege or the grant any privilege privilege. As with most things in the database, there's a number of views that help you figure out what schema privileges have been granted, DBA schema privs, role and user schema privs. If you want to see what schema privileges you have in your current session, check session schema privs. And that's really it for schema privileges. If you'd like to learn more about database security, take a look at Oracle Live Labs. These are hands-on labs that run in the Oracle Cloud. You can see the QR code to access them here on screen. And if you want to keep up to date with what's changing in database security, my team holds office hours the second Wednesday of every month. Uh, go ahead and go to the URL you see on screen here to subscribe to it, learn what the new topics are going to be. We also have been doing this for many years and have an archive of a lot of different technical topics that we've recorded sessions on how to do certain things, how certain features work. Uh, it's a great way to stay up to date and to learn what's going on. Hope to see you in one of the office hour session. Thanks for listening.